three weeks into preparation and 25 weeks out from doing my first ever bodybuilding competition. Come on. All right, morning guys. It is uh, 5.36 a.m. I've got the craziest bedhead today. Today, I wanted to take you guys through a full day of uh, what prep looks like for me right now. We are uh, 24 days out from my show. Uh, my, my respect for this sport has grown immensely. Uh, the agony that I've been in these past couple weeks has been something else. This is without a doubt the hardest thing I've ever done. And I just have an incredible respect for uh, all of the other athletes in this sport. Every day is just an absolute mission. And if I could go back, I'd absolutely do it again. So I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating, full day of uh, working out. We're gonna go to my uh, posing coach today and then my actual coach who's training me for this show. Uh, I'm going to hit some posing with him later today as well. Posing is really everything up on stage. And so I am certainly not letting all my hard work go to waste by getting up there and looking like a moron. So, <laughs> Oh, that feels good. So yeah, we got to go work with a client today. Then we've got uh, my posing session with Antoine. And then I'm going to hit a lift with uh, my, my good friend, John. Yeah, he hasn't seen me in a while, so... That'll be, that'll be interesting. I'm so much weaker <laughs> than last time I lifted with him. So before eating breakfast, the first thing I actually do is get my supplements in. Draws the water out of you. It's a dandelion root extract. Uh, then I've got ZM8 and ZMX. I take uh, two of my multivitamins. I take three fish oils. And then this is the worst part. This is apple cider vinegar. Um, I actually take it in like a little shot glass with some water. Then these are all my pills and vitamins and stuff. I won't sugarcoat it. This stuff literally tastes like vomit. Like it is absolutely repugnant. It's it's horrible to get down. Uh, so what I do is I take a little bit of my pre-workout and I mix it in some water just so that I have that as kind of a chase. Oh, God, it's terrible. That's really nice though. Oh, I haven't felt the sensation of like being full in uh, like five months. It's been, yeah, it's been, it's been like five or six months since I just genuinely felt like I ate enough. Um, but this is, this is why, right? I'm in the best shape of my life. Uh, everything is going according to plan. So first meal of the day is uh, 10 egg whites and uh, two whole eggs. What I actually put into the eggs, um, obviously my options are very limited. No, no cheeses or anything nice like that, but just some simple, some pink Himalayan salt, some pepper, uh, cumin, chili powder, garlic powder. You know, just because you're on prep, it doesn't mean you have to absolutely suffer. I've talked to people um, that say like, no, you can't put any garlic powder on your chicken. If I lose to some maniac who ate unseasoned chicken breast, you, you deserve to beat me because, you know, this is, this is the most willpower and discipline I've ever had to exhibit in my life. And it's why I did this. I'm very proud of the fact that I've come this far and I will not fall off my diet. I will not miss a single workout from now until I hit the stage. I've invested far too much time far too much money, far too much effort, and I've missed far too many like social events that I really wanted to go to because I knew uh, it would just be exhausting being around uh, food. But right now, uh, my energy is just so unbelievably low all the time. Everything, oh, my whole body just feels so heavy all the time. Wouldn't get far without the sugar-free ketchup. This is... Uh, Crucial for all these super bland dishes like the eggs and whatnot. All right, so in this scrumptious meal we have, I've done, according to my calculations, uh, 285 calories, 
three grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 37 grams of protein. All of my meals are very, very low in um, fat and carbs. All of my meals are very, very high in protein. It's very important at this part in the process that we keep all the muscle that we have which is why even though the calories are so low, we keep the protein nice and high, we keep the uh, muscle stimulus, you know, the hard workouts that we're still doing, uh, we keep that all nice and high because that encourages the body to retain the muscle that we have without uh, catabolizing any of it to use as a calorie source. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, your body can break down muscle in the exact same way that it can break down fat as a fuel source. So after crunching the numbers of everything that I eat in a day, my total calories is actually less than 1300. I feel a lot better knowing that. I thought I was eating like 1700 a day. That's a huge difference. Um, protein is still super high, 190 grams of protein, 30 and a half grams of fat, 83 grams of carbs a day. Uh, so we're keeping those carbs super low. And uh, a lot of those carb sources are vegetables and fruit, which has fiber. And on an average day lifting where I, um, lift for about an hour and then do an hour and a half of cardio on the treadmill, um, I'm burning like 1100 calories. Yeah, explains why I feel like shit all the time. <laughs> all right, we're just getting the lunch packed here. I've got my, uh, my chicken and rice. I like to cut the chicken breast up really fine uh, and mix it into the rice. And then I hit it with uh, the no sugar added ketchup and some hot sauce. Then we get a uh, we get a half cup of pineapple, which is about 90 grams worth. When you're doing a prep, you are living out of your car anytime you're on the road. I need my gym bag at all times. Obviously all my meals are in my lunch bag here. And then I've got my laptop and stuff for work. Being on the road during prep, it, it fucking sucks. It makes me absolutely miserable. Uh, you have to pack all of your meals into a lunchbox, which means you're eating a lot of those meals cold. They're already meals you're not excited to have, so eating them cold is not ideal. So the weather's definitely taking a turn for the better. It's like a beautiful, probably 18, yeah, 17 degrees outside. This is by far my favorite meal of the day. Uh, it's the only time I'm eating meat that isn't fish, uh, which I appreciate. I miss my beef, but chicken will do. Um, and then this is the only meal where I have any carbs. So this is my rice, 100 grams of rice, uh, 160 grams of chicken breast, and then some no sugar added ketchup and some hot sauce. Mmm. This one doesn't get old. We're back on the road. We're on our way to uh, Pure Muscle and Fitness. I always love going to this gym. It is like the alpha land of Canada. It is the zoo culture. Like this, this is our influencer gym. And it's only an hour away from my house, which is nice. And where I was working today, it's only 20 minutes away. I think the most noticeable symptom of being on prep is that my irritability is insane i go from zero to a hundred instantly and the tiniest little things will set me off like a, a bump in the road like i'm driving along there's a bump in the road it kind of jostle like jostles it kind of jolts the car um and just immediately i am absurdly pissed off uh which is just interesting it's definitely uh oh shit is this the right way i hope so i guess we'll find out um yeah, like it's it's crazy how easy it is to just push me over the edge. So like just people standing in my space, just people being near me, around me, whatever. I just go from zero to a hundred and I, I go, yeah. Like it's, it's very challenging just to hold back um, how much I want to just lash out and be like belligerent and angry just because uh, I'm like hangry 24 seven. And what's interesting is that pre-prep, I was, I never got hangry and I was not like an explosive or irritable or angry person. And now it's just like every day is a constant battle of not just being a gigantic asshole. So, oh, I'm going the wrong way because I'm recording this. <sighs> All right, I'll check in with you guys at the gym. Yeah, this is, 
This is ridiculous. I, I missed that turn and my mood just completely nosedived and now I'm like spiraling. And that's kind of how the days go. It's like you get through most of the day, you do okay, and then your body kind of catches up and realizes like how tired you are, and how hungry you are. So if you're not 150, if you're not 400% sure that this is important to you and you don't want to do it, like, like genuinely don't do it. Genuinely don't do it. Um, I, I wanted to do this to prove to myself that I could and, and I will, but like I, like I don't, I don't recognize myself anymore. Like I, like my body dysmorphia has gotten so bad. I look in the mirror, I'm convinced I look like shit. Uh, my mental health is terrible. Um, I straight up, like I've given myself an eating disorder. I like, nothing is interesting to me anymore i used to watch shows or play a game on my phone on the treadmill and like i don't even care all like all i can think about ever is food i'm constantly thinking about food i'm constantly thinking about being done so that i can eat a regular amount of food again like i am just obsessed with the thought um yeah like and and don't get me wrong like i'm so excited to step on stage and if i could go back i'd do it all again but like I, I cannot put into words how how mentally draining this is. It's just it's really hard. It's really hard. I just realized I always lock my lock on my gym bag here. I, like I don't have my lock. Bro, I, I am always like one minor inconvenience from a complete mental breakdown. This is Antoine Hightop Hamlet, my posing coach. He's an IFBB pro in classic physique and has even graced the Olympia stage. Since I'm competing in classic physique myself, <laughs> and want to become an IFBB pro myself someday, he's the absolute best person that I can be learning posing from. And in his own words, uh, that gave us a good momentum to say, yo, let's just, let's just keep doing what we're doing and let's, let's just go for Vancouver. Keep mastering your posing because that's your bread and butter, your stage presence, that's, that's what makes you stand out. So let's just keep it moving. I've made some insane progress with Antoine going from knowing absolutely nothing about posing to gaining a lot more confidence. Wow. So Antoine, obviously, IFBB Pro, has graced the Olympia stage. This is a man that I admire. I went into that session. The transformation of my physique has given me a lot of confidence. And I went into that session and I was absolutely humbled. I've been kind of catching myself thinking lately, like I'm taking home an overall and uh, one of the things he said to me was um, like the way that you're posing right now, you won't even crack the top five. And that that really put into perspective how dire the urgency of me perfecting my posing is. Uh, I know I knew walking in, I had a lot of work to do, but now I know just how much work I have to do. So the plan is for the next nine days. I got to get to a point where he sees me in nine days and he goes, wow, wow, you really put the work in. Like I, I can tell like you've, you've improved a lot. Uh, if that's not the reaction I get, then I'm, I'm not going to be satisfied with how much work I put in. So yeah, it's, it's incredible the difference that proper posing makes in how your physique looks on stage. So obviously it's, it's, it might even be the most important thing once I'm up there. Yeah, let's set that as a goal. And next vlog, uh, we'll see, we'll see the improvement. We'll see the transformation in my posing. Who's this big strong man? Sorry? Did you get lost? No, I took, I took the wrong exit on the highway. John said the equipment here is, is Italian. Some, Some of, of it. it. Some of it. He's like, they got, they got Italian equipment and shit. He's literally got the Italian flag on it. So when's your show, bro? Huh? 
When's your show? February 45th. <laughs> February. One of the fun things about working out here is that they have all these different pieces of equipment I've never seen before. It's like a plate loaded chest flies thing. It's just fun to experiment and keep it fresh. And this exercise is called the Lance Armstrong. This is only one ball, <laughs> and it's really hard. <laughs> so like right now, I'm really on a big ball grip kick. I just love a handful of balls. Uh, you kind of let it like... One of the things that I love about bodybuilding, you can see from the cars in the parking lot here, is just that people that do bodybuilding, they understand that you get out of life what you put into it. No, no one is here looking for a handout, another beautiful G-Wagon. It's just a super inspiring energy to be around. You're always trying to get to that next level. You're never satisfied with where you're at. There's always another standard to push to. There's always more to achieve. There's always more to get out of life. And, uh, that's definitely one of the uh, upsides of this community. All right, uh, feeling a lot better actually after spending some time with John. That guy is genuinely the funniest guy I know. He just never fails to cheer me up and make me laugh my ass off. No, that was really good. Uh, I went in there with a really shit mood. So now we're uh, we're gonna drive back to Kitchener. I'm gonna have my uh, some of my meals. I'm gonna do my protein shake right now, my post-workout protein shake. We'll take your one dollarist water. Uh, yeah. I don't like having too much water because then it's super like watery. And this protein, I use a uh, Revolution Nutrition. <laughs> Sponsor me. Um, I use their protein, Highway. <laughs> I get it. It's like it's like the road. Yeah, it's really good, but you got to get the uh, the mixture of the water and the powder right, or else it tastes like crap. And since this is technically one of my meals for the day, um, nothing is more frustrating than screwing up one of the few meals you get to have in the day. So I am starting to get pretty good at uh, making sure that this is mixed properly. So this is, uh, this is meal number four, five, I don't know. Let's, let's dig in, cheers. I nailed that. I nailed that. Oh, that's nice. All right, so it's time for the final meal of the day. This is technically two meals, but I just have them both at once. Uh, it's fish. I actually found a really effective way to uh, cook fish without it stinking up your entire apartment. So I will show you how I do it. It is a French uh, traditional cooking technique used for cooking fish. And the way you do it is by wrapping the entire thing in parchment paper. You hit it with some orange juice, <laughs> some lemon juice. Um, the lemon juice is acidic, which brings out some of the flavor in the fish. I find it really nicely complements it. <laughs> After that, I really like to salt the ever-loving hell out of every single filet. Some garlic powder, some uh, pepper, and some dill. I don't know the way you're supposed to cook with dill. Like, I don't know if you just kind of lightly sprinkle it on top, but honestly, at this point in the prep, like, you are so completely deprived of any, like, flavor. Wherever you can add significant amounts of flavor um, without adding any like calories or adding like significant calories, take it. Like do not, do not ever leave any flavor on the table. I, I really do think that it can be the difference between uh, holding out and, and staying the course and staying disciplined or uh, giving up. Fold it up like this. Uh, you wanna fold it so that the juices that come out of the fish are contained by the parchment paper. Yeah, bake, 20 minutes, 4.50, boom. Oh. 
Now just try and tell me that doesn't look good. Are you jealous? I don't blame you. Help me. So this fish came out of the oven 30 minutes ago. I'm still eating it. Why? I'm glad you asked. Because it's gross. You know, sometimes you just have like a mouthful of eggs and you're chewing. And for whatever reason, your mouth just kind of takes inventory of the texture. And you feel like kind of nauseous and you have to like, oh, you have to like focus on remembering that what you're eating is edible. <laughs> What an insane person sentence. You have to remind yourself that what you're eating is edible. Prep tings. Um, yeah, I've only got like two little pieces left, but. Ooh! But like I, my body needs the calories. I won't, I won't do that to you. That was sus. Ah! <laughs> um, yeah, okay, back in the car. We gotta go to my home gym now. We're gonna meet with Pat at there. So I'll introduce you all to him. He's the sickest guy. I, I cannot rave enough about him as a coach. He's been amazing to me. Taking very, very good care of me. I would not be bringing the package to stage that I am without his help. I, I wouldn't even be getting on stage without his help. We're gonna go see him and uh, do some posing. Yeah, as we get closer to the show, we we really gotta start drilling in the posing. Um, that's like the cherry on top of building an incredible physique. So let's get to work. Here. Okay, hand is gonna be up here a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna turn that wrist. Turn this wrist. There, see how much the bicep comes up more? There's hips away. Hips away from the hips. Hips away, hips away. There we go. Good, you can go right to, so then, I always tell people with transitions, just point to the side you want to go, right? So you want to go to this side, that's it, 30 seconds, right? okay? Okay, right. take a break, Michelle. Yeah, I'll start practicing that every day. I'm dying, this shit's hard. All right guys, I've been talking about him all day. This is, uh, this is Big P, this is my coach, Pat it. What's up guys? I coach a tunnel vision. I started tunnel vision probably like this year. Um, but I got clients like Bacon, I got other clients like Eddie, Matt, that are competing in shows that are upcoming. And then we got a few guys, we have I think six guys and girls competing in uh, April. Really excited for Damien. Saw his full transformation and everything. Super excited for that. Okay. Changes in like three more weeks. We got another tunnel vision team member here. This is Alex. Is it a wellness girl? She's competing sometime next year. Don't know when yet. Soon. Coming soon. soon. Coming yeah. soon to yeah. a place near you. <laughs> yeah. no, I was super excited for Damien to uh, compete, honestly, as a uh, I'm really confident to say that David will probably make a good dent in uh, the CPA this year and probably make a name for himself. I'm definitely going to make Tunnel Vision a name to compete against. So. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome.